So what's the difference between Haiti and a failed state? It's telling, right? We can't really identify them because the gangs are in charge. The government has been thrown out. And as a Florida man, I'm deeply concerned about this wave of people that we're about to have, that we are having, coming from Haiti. And it will accelerate because I've gone to Opelaka and I've spent time with the folks that are engaged in Operation Vigilant Century. And they say the number one push factor that drives these Haitians into Broward County, Palm Beach County, where they don't disperse throughout the country. They stay in southeast Florida. That, that that driving factor is the deterioration of conditions in Haiti. So what are we doing to prepare for that wave and to ensure that these people are not paroled into the United States as the administration has done with people on the southern border, but instead are repatriated back at the dock at Port-au-Prince? Uh, Congressman, we're doing a number of things to ensure that we're keeping track of the situation and we're prepared. At the moment, we have not yet seen large numbers, what we would characterize as a, as a maritime mass migration. Um, but Do we are alert to that. Mass migration, though? We, are, we are alert to that possibility. Um, I think you're right uh, that the, the driving conditions in Haiti could very well press more people. So uh, we've recently pr approved some uh, additional assistance that we can provide to uh, the Coast Guard. I I, I think that that has now fully been approved. Uh, we'll be providing notifications if we haven't already uh, uh, to so, okay, provide additional shipboard there. assistance. Because I've talked to the Coast Guard, and what they say would really support them would be more naval vessels, would be DOD support. And because I think you correctly said that there is an anticipated mass migration here, there are specific legal authorities that we can access, that I would implore you to access. Specifically, George W. Bush signed executive order uh, 13276. And in that executive order, there is the ability for any president to designate an anticipated mass migration and then get gray hull naval vessels into the Straits of Florida to deter that migration and then to repatriate those people before they get to Florida. So, General Richardson, is it your best military advice, based on what we just heard from Ms. Zimmerman, that we activate the authorities anticipating a mass migration? So I think that we need to be postured appropriately uh, for that, uh, exactly what you're talking about. And I have put in a request for increased capability to do exactly that. And, uh, and we are ready if a mass migration, if we need to deal with a mass migration. We did a full walkthrough of our contingency plan on Gitmo last summer with all of the interagency and all of my components. When I talk to the Coast Guard folks, they seem to say that we don't have to go drop these folks off at Gitmo, where they, they become a burden on the U.S. taxpayer. We can interdict at sea and then repatriate directly at Port-au-Prince. When you say you're preparing for that, does that specifically mean DOD assets? So for what happens on a daily basis that the Coast Guard is doing and the repatriation under Homeland Security authorities back to Cap Haitian happens on a daily basis. Yeah, so no, I, I got that. But what the, when I go down to Opelika and, and get eyeball to eyeball with these folks, they say, Congressman, we really could use the DOD assistance, not more money for the Coast Guard, not more meetings, conference calls, and committees, but gray hull vessels in the Straits of Florida doing the interdictions, doing the repatriations. So when you say you're, you're anticipating, I think Ms. Zimmerman laid it out correctly, so given the, the fact that an anticipated maritime mass migration is specifically contemplated pursuant to 46 U.S.C. 70051, can, can I leave this discussion believing that it will be your best military advice uh, to the administration to utilize DOD assets for this purpose, General Richards? If I'm requested to do that, I will definitely do that. And no, I, I want you to make the request, not be requested. That's what I'm trying to ascertain. Okay. Yes, con Congressman. Yes, you, you will make that request for DOD so assets. I will talk Florida. with District 7 and our Coast Guard on the, on the Atlantic side, uh, Atlantic area, and uh, see if they need additional uh, gray, DOD gray holes. They have not requested that specifically from Southcom. And so, but if there's a need for that, I would absolutely request it. Thank you for that, because I, I really think getting ahead of this 
will ensure that the humanitarian conditions um, uh, will, will be far better, that we could perhaps deter some of this uh, because, I mean, it's tragic conditions. When you talk to these folks and they say that these Haitians are pouring gasoline on little babies and doing everything they can to deter interdictions, um, it, it sharpens the minds of my fellow Floridians to want to make sure you guys are doing everything possible, and I greatly appreciate the exchange today. Yield back.